and welcome back to Color Decorations and another flip through of a completed sketchbook. So this is a moleskin and let's dive into it. Uh, first of all, this sticker is from uh, Sophie Corrigan. Um, I think I bought it via um, Redbubble. Yes, I did. So here are also stickers from Redbubble. This is from Naomi Lord. This is when I ordered some clothes from EMP. And here we have a sticker from Maddie Wilson. And this one is from, uh, ooh, don't remember. I'm gonna leave a link to this person. It's also a Redbubble sticker. So, welcome to my sketchbook. I installed this the 4th of November 2019 and I finished it the 24th of March 2020. First spread, let's just, you know, make a sketch dump with like everything. Uh, so, new sketchbook, where to start? I want to make more of my little avatar or selfie illustrations. And um, yeah, so this was how I was drawing myself, but this is what my hair actually looked like. And then I just, I don't know, made a bunch of different sketches. Um, <laughs> I, I pretended I was gonna water my daughter Lily and she said she was not a flower and she was very upset. Here I um, made a little um, magical beast. So this is a combination with two of the kinds of pets I had. So um, rat and an axolotl. This is uh, preliminary sketches for my gorgeous tattoo. So um, I, this was the first one I sent off. I didn't get a spot when I sent this little sketch. So I made another mock-up. Uh, for the next time my tattoo artist had available slots and um, then I got accepted. I was very sick during this time. Um, I had problems with my breathing and stuff and also a migraine. This is how it feels to have a migraine. Like there are knives in your eyes and the, someone is screwing like a plate on your skull and it becomes too small. Uh, so yeah, I drank a lot of coffee. I had very much pain in my lungs. I read the book by Fredrik Backman called Vi mot er. I drew my dog in different styles with different colors. Yes, and another sticker from Maddie Wilson Arts. My kids watched Dora the Explorer, so I drew some pictures regarding to that, and they got some stamps, so I used them as well. I apparently had paper over, so I cut out flames, put them on a microwave, and said Ryan started the fire. Ryan started the fire! And this was also a little uh, self-image of uh, how I was feeling like this sketchbook was too precious and I was afraid to use it. Here are some figure studies, and I got a new hoodie from EMP. So it was um, Fantastic Beast and Where to Find Them merch. These are the um, like yellowfish that's, that are embroidered here. And then we have some evolutions. So this is made with the uh, Posca markers. I started watching Good Omens, such a good show. Um, I wanted to listen to the audiobook, but it was in Swedish and the narrator was like, uh, no, <laughs> I couldn't listen to him. So these are just some illustrations from um, Good Omen, and these were my cups. I was drinking a lot of tea because I have had a sore throat and hard time breathing. I think I read an article, but they, they were like, they discovered some kind of a mouse deer or something. So this was probably what it looked like and tried to cartoonize it. Uh, and then we got a moth infestation because that's super fun. So I had a, an old bag of um, rat food, which had lovely little <laughs> friends in it. And they completely took over our entire house and we had to, you know, throw away so much stuff. And I, I hated those stupid moths. That was fun, not. Uh, here are some studies. I wanted to make a cartoonized version of my son. 
so I marked the ones I liked most and this was like yeah this is what it's gonna look like and I tried to make him in um, full body a scene from Good Omens uh, a little cartoon of my daughter I don't want to sleep five minutes later she's sleeping and this is still true. Me, 90% of the time dedicated to a sketchbook is me looking at uh, Pinterest uh, or interests or sketchbook flippers on YouTube and I'm not drawing. Here are some sketches that are based from drawing with waffles. Same here I think or maybe all of these are from Pinterest. Such a long time ago. Yeah, so just more doodles. And then I was dreaming about this character who was like some kind of a wood nymph, I guess. So I drew her. And on, this is made with markers, so on the back side I painted it over with... I think it's acrylic and I just made these silhouettes with like an ink brush pen or something. I like these. Here's another little comic strip. Time to go to sleep and if the kids are in their own bed. <laughs> um, I'm constantly listening to try to hear what all of the noise is. Is it a kid waking up? Um, yeah, and I'm tired in the morning. And if I'm co-sleeping, this is what it's like to be co-sleeping. Either you get like poked in the face or kicked or something, or the little mini-me is talking and doesn't want to sleep. I'm gonna poke your eye. This is a true story. Waking up with the kids poking your eyes, it's not very nice. And it's the same result, I'm tired. Uh, here you can't see this very well, someday I'm gonna make this properly, but it's like a little comic about um, um, a top secret research facility and there's a guy running to the general because he has some uh, super, super duper biohazard weaponized thing and they wondered how they found that substance and it actually was um, picked up from a daycare center because everybody is sick at the daycare center so they just used all of the germs from a daycare and use it as a um, biological weapon. These are drawings made by my son uh, so he <laughs> drew a cinema bun, a rat, an axolotl and a dragon and then I colored them in. Uh, I was playing the untitled goose game and then I drew some geese, because why not? And then I was playing Monkey Island. I was really trying to get into playing games, because I don't have that many hobbies. Everything I do for a hobby, I turn into more like a profession or something. So I love doing sketchbook work, but sometimes my brain goes, oh, so um, then you should be practicing this and you should be doing this, but yeah. So this is... Um, from Monkey Island. This is a little picture of my son. He's trained in karate. Uh, this is an excerpt from what my daughter said. You can ride a lion, but only if the lion wants to. It's very important that you get consent from the lion. Uh, so Lila was three years old when she said it, so I drew her riding a lion. And if you wonder why the eyes are a bit messed up, it was because when I was using, using my brush pen to paint the eyes, she came and clung to my arm to see what I was doing and yeah, looked like that. And then she wanted to color it in, so it's a pink lion. And then I drew some more lions just to fill out the spread. My mom sent me uh, a gorgeous book and I drew some of the pictures from, from the book. I also like to add like stamps and stuff throughout the book, both as fillers, but also because it's it's a nice way to save them. Then I had a little break, I think I did some journaling about it, haven't read it through. Um, <laughs> a very ugly dog. A guy dancing. Yeah, so um, I got um, an advent calendar from Pen Store, and these were all of the things that were included in, in that advent calendar, and here I tried them out, I guess, I think, yeah, hope, probably. I took a break for one and a half months from this sketchbook because we got another dog and um, I devoted the time that I had been devoting to my sketchbook, I devoted to the new dog instead. And then unfortunately it didn't work uh, with the dog and our eldest dog so we had to return him which was very sad because I loved him so much. It was like instant love 
I love that dog. Anyway, uh, taking a break, coming back, how do you do this, how do you draw? Um, my hair was longer, still a mess. Then I did some small thumbnails, I read a book called Folk med ångest by Fredrik Backman. Um, I had a little idea of drawing like plant pots with small like habitats inside. This is my dog Link, a princess. Um, my mom and I went to a cafe and this was a couch at the cafe. This is my mom. Uh, I was playing Zelda uh, Breath of the Wild with those little dudes. Uh, we went to Universeum, which is like a zoo, but inside with birds and fish and small monkeys and stuff. Uh, my daughter had a cold and she thought it was really, really fun to blow bubbles with her nose. Small kids for you. It was the Sami National Day. I don't know if it's that's how you talk about it in English. Um, I drew this picture. So this is made with coffee, actually. Uh, this was the preliminary sketches for a logotype I was commissioned to do for um, Herding Club on Gotland. And some more stamps. A random page of randomness. This is a house in the town next over. Um, a lemur, a um, seagull, a rat, a plant. Me drawing while watching someone else draw. And a little selfie portrait that my hair was long enough to put it in a bun again. This was a little sketch preliminary study for a commission I made, a color splash chicken. I think you saw in the previous sketchbook tour, I think I had some um, uh, work for this commission as well. These are like color studies for a commission. And then I wrote some notes on the back side what I had been using. So this was paints grey in a tube, this was Minster Neuter ink, this was White Knights Black. And here are a bunch of uh, stamps again. This is... Is it watercolor? I think this is a watercolor piece made from a photo I took on the Warner Bros. Studio Tour where they recorded Harry Potter. And then this is my Axolotl Knox, and this is Elsa, our pet rat. And I think these are uh, Penny. Maybe Penny and Poppy, the other rats we had. Just a weird looking door knocker, because why not? And a scene from somewhere in Great Britain made with gouache. I got some more colored pencils, so I just used this little space to try them out. This is kind of one of my favorite spreads in this book because it's so just loose, intuitive, everything and nothing and yeah. Uh, a girl with made with um, highlighters. This was a little representation of how I was feeling. I was very sad because we had to return the dog. I was very sad because my kid wasn't feeling good in school. Felt like my heart had been torn out. I felt very alone. Uh, I wasn't alone and I, I knew I wasn't alone, but when you can't help your kid and your kid is sad, that's kind of the worst feeling in the world. And also felt like, you know, everybody was pulling me in different directions and stuff. We watched a movie, which I can't remember what it was called. Um, hand studies, and these were all of the gouache colors I had at the moment. I like this, it's an otter. I tried to just, you know, kind of, not copy, but replicate Lee Ellickson's work, but I don't want it to look too much like her work, I just wanted to try it. So I mean, I, I would like to do more stuff like this, but I really want to make it more mine. I wouldn't, you know, take commissions to do something like this because it's, it's not mine. Even though I've drawn it, it's not mine. A picture of my son doesn't look like my son. I really like this little spot illustration of a shark. And here are three different versions of a squirrel. So it's the same reference picture but used three different techniques and materials to draw it. 
Um, this spread is not finished. It was <laughs> it was kind of a joke from the beginning. Uh, my co-worker at work, she um, thought they, you know, rocked the microphone. Rock the microphone. The lyrics, she thought they said this when she was a kid. I'm not gonna say it because that's an ugly word! Uh, so I was gonna make it like a tattoo design or something, but yeah, I didn't finish it. Owls. Do I need to say more? No. Owls. This is also one of my favorite spreads of the entire sketchbook. I just made a bunch of squares and small colored patches with highlighters and then I went over with an ink pen and I drew a bunch of skulls. I love skulls. Yes, I am that crazy skull lady. Um, lovely spread. Covid-19. Uh, so, <laughs> the Corona Chronicles. I didn't have Corona. I have not had Corona, but I had basically the same symptoms as if I had Corona. So this was just a little how it was spreading around the world, how I was feeling, I had joint pain, I had lung pain, I had fever and freezing, fever and freezing. Yeah, not fun. Here are sharks with brush pen and then I think I used watercolor markers for the background. Yeah, Windsor Neuter watercolor markers. Uh, so this was me swatching out the ones I had. I had them lying in a drawer for so long and I hadn't been using them. So I was like, hmm, just bring them out. Make some color, make some marks. So this is me using the watercolor marker. A sloth. A ram. I really like this one. I like, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, find the shapes, find the values in a picture. And then it's really good to be using these markers because it just, you know, yeah, you can, you can see. Look look here. This is what I like. <laughs> yeah, 2020, the year of the toilet roll. <laughs> this is Tom, a whole spread with the dog that we couldn't keep. So he wasn't, it was, he, he's, still, he's still alive. He's an Australian Shepherd and um, he was about six months something when we got him. And unfortunately he was like a very teenage boy and <laughs> our old lady she's uh, a police so they got on a collision course and it didn't work out and that was the thing we had said from the beginning that everything had to be working out with the current dogs for us to keep him so i'm really sad that we couldn't keep him but this is just small thumbnail images of um, different methods i suppose i like this spread it's cool some sketches. So this is supposed to be me and I think I was just trying to practice drawing profile images. I, I, I really don't know how to draw good profile pictures. I need to practice that. This was uh, brushwork from Line of Action and I got new watercolor in tubes so I just swatched them here and framed the image a bit. I really like this one. This is um, a little selfie. So the pose is from Drawing with Waffles and I just added some plants and um, I had pink hair. And here are some more plants. This was a Draw This In Your Style. Um, so this was a, a quick sketch of the original piece and this was what I came up with. and. Initially, I intended to make this a uh, bigger work, a proper work, but I really like this little sketch. So I just posted this to Instagram and it got really many likes, which was fun. Uh, I was gonna draw Luna Lovegood, but just, you know, sketch stage and then I abandoned it. This is an ugly spread. I think it just had some color over from doing something else. I just 
painted them out here, drew some stuff, move on. We renovated our little bathroom, not a bathroom, a toilet. Um, so this is a wash study of <laughs> a corner of our little loo room. And this is just um, colors that was over, so I made some squiggly squigs. Yeah, penguins. <laughs> um, yeah, not much to say. Penguins. This was uh, some ideas or thumbnailing for the intro page of my next sketchbook because I was nearing the end. This is the end. Here I was researching um, a drawing tablet. I went to buy a drawing tablet so I was researching what different kinds there were out there and what I should buy. These are some of the little tea labels. I drank a lot of tea uh, because I didn't feel so good and tea makes you feel better. Here are a bunch of small thumbnails of things I was planning on using the sketchbook for. So this was like, instead of doing it in the beginning, what my goals were and what I wanted to accomplish with this book, I just had the back page with um, a bunch of ideas. Um, I don't know how much of it I actually did. <laughs> uh, here's a nice quote. Um, I was gonna do a little comic strip about it. 2019 was hard, now it'll get better. Life, all my beer. And it was should have been um, Corona beer, because that's fun. Yeah, so here are some small test images that I printed. I, I found these, these are really old, these are me and my son. Uh, I tried different settings on little Polaroid zip printer. I really didn't like it, so I gave it away. Um, but I found these little images and I wanted to save them. Another sticker from Sophie. Her. <laughs> um, let's see now. What do we have on the inside here? This is everything, yeah. A cute note from my mom saying she loves me. Um, the waistband of my next sketchbook. A little drawing of some kind of creature that some of some one of my kids have made. Uh, a receipt I should probably have given to my accountant because I bought art supplies. The little info book about the moleskin and the waistband for this. So yeah, this was a moleskin art collection sketchbook. I, I really enjoyed using this. I bought another one because I really liked it. The downside is that it has like cream or off-white pages. I prefer them to be stark white, um, but it, it's okay, and the paper quality is really good. It holds up to most mediums. I haven't tried two wet washes, um, but it holds up to to most things I've thrown at it. Uh, it's a nice size. It's actually a bit smaller than A5, I think. And um, yeah, 104 pages, 165 GSM. I hope you have enjoyed this little sketchbook tour. I have several more to record and publish, so if you want to see more of my sketchbook work, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I would be really happy if you liked this video and left a comment down below. What was your favorite spread in this particular sketchbook? Okay everybody, have a lovely day. Hello.